Plans for the new K-12 Ponce de Leon school are moving forward. The facility will replace the current elementary and high school facilities. As News 13's Maggie McGuigan tells us, home district schools officials say they plan to prioritize education and affordability. Holmes District Schools is going through the process of acquiring the money to build a new school. The process began in 2022, but accelerated in the fall of last year. The Department of Education conducted surveys to determine the status of the old schools. In that meantime, we've also hired an architect uh, to begin it once we were deemed as a critical need. Uh, the cost is now up to uh, just under $77 million. Uh, of course, that involves uh, ground preparation. It involves demolition of the old facilities. Uh, but the construction cost is still in excess of 50 million. New campus will be built in between the current high school and elementary school, meaning the softball field will have to be moved for development to start. We jumped through the major hoops, meaning that we have been approved by the Department of Education facilities. Uh, we just recently uh, did a presentation just a couple of weeks ago over there where we got our final approval. What that means at this point in time, that when the legislature convenes, uh, in uh, January, February of 2025, that the Department of Education will make a recommendation that the legislature funds the construction of our school. Brown is hopeful. He says the last time the legislature refused to fund a project like this was in 2014. But he says lawmakers usually fund the building over a three-year period, and building a new school may prove to be cost-effective. If everything falls into place, the new facility could be ready by August 2027. In Holmes County, Maggie McWiggin, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Brown says safety will be a priority in the school's design. Ponce de Leon's current teachers will also have some input on that project.